And we begin tonight with new information from Phoenix police. They say that a 10 year old boy is now dead after being airlifted from a valley hiking trail this afternoon. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 10. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Rachel Cole in for Mark Curtis tonight. First responders say the boy was hiking with family at South Mountain, adding that they were from out of town. 12 News journalist Bianca Bono is live from the Mormon Loop Trailhead with the latest for us tonight. Bianca. Yeah, guys, officials say the boy was a mile up the trail when they got to him. Because of his condition, they decided to use a helicopter to quickly get him to an ambulance. But despite doing everything they could, the boy didn't survive. A devastating scene unfolding at South Mountain Tuesday afternoon when a 10 year old boy was pulled from a hiking trail and rushed to the hospital. Some of these trails on South Mountain are, are, are pretty uh, difficult, you know, they're pretty long. The Phoenix Fire Department says early information indicates the boy was hiking with relatives and they were from out of town. Their hike starting around 930, but the call for help coming more than four hours later around two o'clock. Phoenix, Tempe and Chandler Fire Departments all responding. Technical rescue team members were able to converge upon the trails and make contact with a patient approximately one mile up the trail and began rendering aid. Because of the boy's condition and location on the trail, fire crews used a helicopter to pull him up, landing at a nearby park where an ambulance was waiting. Sadly, the boy didn't survive, and police say he died as a result of a heat-related medical event. Well, as a parent, I feel horrible for what happened. Mark Sakowitz lives nearby and witnessed the response. It's unusual to have multiple helicopters out on the same day. I think I've seen it land like three times today, and. Uh, I've been out here for about five years. I've only seen that, I think, one other time. With the temperature reaching a high of 113 degrees, officials say it's unclear how long the group planned to stay on the trail, noting after the boy was transported, the Phoenix helicopter went back to the trail, getting reports that others there were in need of water. If you're an inexperienced hiker, potentially from out of town, you may or may not be aware of the level of difficulty or how long that those trails are. As the summer heat continues, fire officials have a safety warning. Stay off the trails unless it's early in the morning or later in the evening. Remember to please stay hydrated. Uh, if, if you can, wear light, light colored clothing, light fitted clothing. And Phoenix police detectives responded to the scene here as well as the hospital. They'll be investigating what led up to this tragic death. We're live in Phoenix tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News. Bianca, thank you. We certainly feel for the family and, of course, the first responders doing everything that they could in the Valley's intense heat not going anywhere as we approach the 4th of July holiday. Meteorologist Lindsay Riley is here with more. Lindsay. In fact, we're only getting hotter. We'll be in the 115 plus range beginning on Independence Day and continuing right through the weekend and into next week. Records are in jeopardy. Thursday, we're going to hit 115. Friday, our best shot at a record high with 116 for the forecast. Saturday 115 within one degree of a record and Sunday 114. So high heat and excessive heat watch is already posted for most of the lower deserts areas in maroon from Thursday through next Tuesday. So this is going to be a long duration high heat event in Magenta Mojave County. That's an excessive heat warning that goes through the end of the week. This watch area in purple will likely or maroon I should say will be likely be increased to a warning by this time tomorrow. We're still at 104 and it's 1005 at night. 113 was the high with the higher humidity, higher dew points. Temperatures take a little bit longer to come down. Even our morning lows have been in the 90s for the last several days. 5 a.m. It's going to be 92 degrees uh, for the rest of the day tomorrow. Nothing but sunshine. Dew points remain in the 60s, so you're going to notice the humidity starting off at 92 at 7 a.m. And at 5 p.m. tomorrow, we're at 111. Rachel? My goodness, Lindsay, thanks for tracking those changes for us.